Hey David, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Jim? I'm. Thank you. I'm very good myself, and I'm very very excited about this short interview we're doing today about the rewind technique. Um, there is no such um, uh, laser guided, pinpointed, straight to the target method that deals strictly or almost strictly with trauma. And uh, this is what I saw in uh, rewind technique, and um, it got me hooked. So I wanted to learn more about it, and uh, basically I got to you. So um, I'm very happy that you're here with us today. And um, uh, this is an, a little interview for people who don't know about you and who don't know about the rewind technique and who don't know how you teach and what you do in your class to learn more so then they can have an um, informed opinion and hopefully, you know, have a decision thereafter. So let's start with this. Who is David Moss? <laughs> David Musk is a complicated person. I, I'm an American, uh, and but uh, raised in Italy, Rome. Um, I used to be a, a heart surgeon and then became a family doctor. And while I was a family doctor, I became interested in hypnosis. Then I became interested in NLP. And then uh, while I was doing NLP, there was some little tiny thing that said this can be can treat phobias in 10 minutes. But because I had a rather sad uh, history in my family uh, of things that happened to my wife, I was much more already thinking about post-traumatic stress. So I thought I'd, I'd change that technique and try it out, uh, modified with time. And so it, um, it, it proved to me that uh, it wasn't like hypnosis where it's your voice, it's your company. It, it just, it's a technique. If you do it uh, and you uh, the people follow what to do, they will get better in two minutes. We don't actually allow more than two minutes to do the technique, but it takes a little bit longer to explain it. Uh, the results have been amazing. Um, still don't really understand fully how it works, but I am uh, lucky in a sense to have had a major life-threatening event myself. So I, so I had to use it upon myself. And so I know exactly how to deliver um, the information that you need if you be traumatized or somebody else needs traumatizing. And I just finished a course yesterday, and it's lovely because people come with this lovely empathetic way, you know, CBT, let's do 10, 20 sessions. And I start off by saying, oh, who wants to be a volunteer today? I'll treat you. And, uh, you know, they, it doesn't even get to two minutes, and they just can't believe it. Uh, but of course, the, the website shows you hundreds of cases of people I've trained, what their results have been. So there's little doubt that it's amazing. There's been quite a lot of research on it, but I'm a bit skeptical about research because it's all kind of hypothetical. Uh, um, you know, um, so that on the website, all the research has been done is listed there, so it's worth going. You know the website is IARTT.com. All right, IARTT.com, yes. All right. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for about 25 years. I mean, I published my first article in 1991, the first self-help book called The Trauma Trap, which had never been written for, for self-help. And, uh, and then uh, I, I realized that people weren't interested. They couldn't understand. I mean, in 1990, in the early 90s, people didn't understand how to pronounce the word post-traumatic stress disorder. It's incredible because today, if you're late for an appointment, I've just developed post-traumatic stress disorder. You know, it's, it's gone the other way. Uh, um, but that's, that's how, so I thought, okay, well, the people are not really interested. So I approached lawyers and, and made lawyers aware that more than physical injuries in car crashes, assaults, etc., there was a lot of psychological damage. And so I trained an awful lot of solicitors in this country. And then they started referring all the work to me. And that's how I built up a, a big number of cases, plus the police. 